Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over the most insane outplays of the 2023 season. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Wonders away and the rest of DRX, they're here. We're on wrong sides of the map as this battle is being set up. They have the battle lines drawn. Let's see who's going to be able to take that first step as it's Croco. Oh! He the sickest kick flash onto Teo and the Magnus Storm to follow up. And DRX are just having a great time now Doo -doo, he's gonna get wiped out by the feathers of Podak a teleport to try and get the LeBlanc he's topped up around 300 health the heal early here as they look for the chase Elk and On both have their flashes Elk already invested a ghost flash forward twisted advance knocked back onto On and Genji played to this tune in game one the bear now coming out and On will be brought back and now Delight is next on the menu and Elk can turn it around double buff for him it's gonna be two but a great flash from Delight got it escape from Elk, two kills to BLG in the bottom. There, and oh, Nitho, no flash, no okay. No flash, the TP coming in. It's gonna be another second channel time. Gets knocked back, no stun connection. Still looking for the chase, flash forward. Twisted advance, and now Knight is surrounded by BLG. The explosive cast, oh. and Knight will not be found. Healed in the final moments to keep him alive through the unleashed power. And now Elk is just standing with a massive Gragas in his face. And JDG punish the over-eagerness of BLG. Because they do have a slight goal lead and in the early game they haven't really had many gold leads as they dive on top of Faker once again frozen tomb comes on down and Faker flashes he does have the no ult way. he's staying alive oh. in fact you will have the ultimate for Guma means he can't really do too much and all right well that is a heroic charge Faker in a bit of trouble here but does manage to mitigate some of that CC goes all out onto Peanut now just trying to fight the Poppy Chovy though is gonna make his way through Faker's still alive for the moment flash oh. and he'll survive has to be ready to go all in, ready to pull the trigger, but Robo just walks up, you see C immune, immediately just flashes on top of him. Bit of a fumble though, and the axe not quite connecting, and now, ooh, instant knockback, Kiaia! Oh, he's dancing on he's gonna get This should not be allowed! What is this Nard doing? He's just killing two grown-ass men on the top side of the map! Look at that, Yordle, go! You're not trapped in here! I butchered the quote already. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped! Um, Berserker more also fights. giving up on the kill. Oh, more fight and going at it again. Blabber, the subject of Spika's gaze, and the rest of the team is here to follow up. A menace from over the wall. Wants to get something shot left. Oh, Land, in. Ayla lands the death sentence, follows up the box, thrown down for the action. Shelly's still getting that charge onto Berserker. Berserker. Lays it out Berserker. Wants to throw down the rolling death. Gets the double kill. What you want to see from Raven. but it's not going to be something like JDT that they can uh -oh. snowball into anything much more. That's cleanse out, the flash comes on through as well as Ruler is actually going to die for this one, but shout out by the head to body block. It doesn't matter, the damage is insane. This is a 2 That's two four. Four. touch. Ruler is on another level as he burns through that punch. Ruler going down, jumps over the wall for the triple, and here's Gnarvi to finish the play. Ruler is insane. Bow down to the... Faker here is one of those pick targets. Yeah, it does have his crown, and they're gonna look to try and stop him. They do deny the uh, the shifting sands at the beginning, but then he just gets himself out. Another glacial prison comes in. Aiming's gonna be interrupted by Ona. Absolutely beautiful play now. Carrier taking some damage, but the feather storm's going to save Gumiushi. Lahens has to go golden, and he's not gonna be able to get himself out of it. Kane is gonna be the first to go down in the fight, and T1 are just juggling the aggro gorgeously. Ko's gonna be the next victim here. T1 are looking for match point. They are looking for no mercy and they want to head towards the final. Faker, he lives! He lives in more ways than one. If you try to collapse, Nocturne presses are, you don't know how many people are coming, you don't know how many people are responding, and T1, they're looking for more. Yep, Shahu already taking a bit of poke damage. Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shiva. They dive in, the turret goes down, the needlework just rips the center to shreds. And Zayas just by himself destroying everyone. Hostile takeover comes in, Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death. It's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor. It might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake. Oh, God, this guy is going crazy in the finals. 
She fires off another route to try to lock down Yagao. On goes in. Now they're turning it around. Elf is going to die. Huge play from Onsama. He'll be turning away for Caps. But now Ben and Shun will be killed by the fight of all of G2. Ben cannot survive for very much longer. The Guardian Angel is going to bring him back. But On and Yagao will not save him. G2 just found themselves a fight and found themselves an elder. Watch Mickey top of your screen right here. That long flag. That right there is an engage from the LEC MVP, and he sets it up. There's the Tron, they want to go after Joby. They force the ulti back out of the light, but BLG's health bars are looking bad. Guardian Angel's gonna come out there from Shun, but Genji are camping the body. They take him down, and Joby gets the credit. Pays flashes in. He wants the damage on on, but he can't quite find it. On likely to drop here next as Pays goes on a killing spree. Ben tries to fight back. Delight is down. They're going after Joby again. This was so dicey. I thought BLG were gonna lose this fight. Look at how low Ben is at the start of the fight. On is completely out of mana. He can't even use a spell on the Braum. This was looking like they'd really overplayed their hand. Yeah, and Shun dying at the start. There's no real way for BLG to assist him in the 4v5. Gen G are playing patiently in here. They want to clean up. Pays even flashes in. The shield from On, magnificent to keep Ben alive. And now just keep your eyes on Ben and L. They're focusing getting that execution on the bit, but that means the Elk is completely safe. The Runans means that he just tears through Gen G. And the moment that he gets the first reset, it's crit. It's a crit, it's a crit, it's a crit, it's a crit. It's a kill, it's a quadra for L. Um, Baniski's more than made up for it in the mid lane. Difficult that they have so many lanes and small deficits, but because there are no major item completions quite yet, it's not too big of a deal at this stage. Chasey in trouble though. Now trying to leap out to safety to the sky. He's going to do a little bit of work there, but the silence coming in. There's just nothing you can do here. Stolen to Rock but never Whoa. mind. This game! What? He just steals it, uses it against them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just call him Johnny Silverhand. He is in their head. This game is killing everybody. Who is this man? Turn a great steadfast presence oh. into the cops and knock the light away, but Yikes is still in the midst of three members of Gen G. They're going to try and chase him down. Cap's trying to keep them at bay. Mickey fighting Chovy up towards the top side as Hansama keeps that battle continuing. Seismic shard into the spear, but Yike dodges to the side. The red buff, the molten shield, the steadfast presence. The flash in the end will get enough. But Gen G have invested so much into trying to kill the Poppy and G2 pounce. With the compositions, with the dragon lead, with the Baron buff, they're in such a good spot. Great rejection there. Then the sidestep. Oh my word. Yeah, Dora just didn't expect it. Full whiff there with the ulti. The laser doesn't even tag him from Pays. I just can't believe they continued chasing into the tower. <laughs> they were like, like we this, just need one more hit. This is insanity to me. They're all going for it. Peanut flashes in, gets stunned up again, then caps him. <laughs> Adam going full oh, French. No. He looks a guillotine. As uh, Sparta could be in trouble again. Shio is here, pulls them in, knocks them both off. The sustain is there, and BJ bleeds to death. Sparta's gonna be next. Is the Q coming back up? Quickness though. Oh, oh, but he channeled it just in time. The buffer is beautiful from Adam as he looks for a little bit more as well, and he still lives on. Adam is on. It feels like we should have something to kind of this, you know, kind of take away for, uh, champions when they're not actually involved. But now we come back in and look for a fight. Aja, no flash this time, so can't really look to engage. Whoa, Junja looking a bit aggressive there and going to take a lot of damage. And they shotgun on the backside! Wacko looking to take out Noob. Good flash away from the Shurima ultimate. And now he's taking out Noob. The ultimate from the Maokai keeps everybody in place. And a double kill for Wacko as the Scion is now dead. Shao running for his life. It's looking like it's going to be an ace. Not quite, though, as you can see that the Shizwani should be up. No, he's been caught! And there it is! Ace, five for none. PSG, they were just as bored as we were. Huge moment, and Wacko deserves every single bit of praise right now, because Junja, he overextends. Yeah, this is one of those classic Maokai, whoa, going on a ride. You did not mean to do that. And then this is a moment where Wacko sees his angle, but with Flash and Ultimate oh still available God. for Nuke, it is a dangerous play to go for. Wacko was getting super hyped up at MSI for a reason, arguably the best Marksman player in the playing stage shown but has a 5v4, but they gotta be careful. Contracts already ready to engage. And Team Liquid has to fall back. Summit's ready to transform, but into the back line goes Palafox. He's gonna be taken low, taken down. Team Liquid! They're cutting him off! They're burying him! It's a shutdown back over to Yawn. They've taken out the Irelia! 
The king is dead, and Palafox died with him. Now CLG has to deal with a 3v5 scenario. Core JJ is very low. He's trying to just skirt the edges of this, be able to save somebody with a lantern if needed. Boom's got flash, Boom's got ulti. Contract's still looking for a steal. Ooh. Boom goes in. Summit tanks a lot of damage there. Baron's down to 3k. Contract's over the wall. Thinking about the Vault Breaker, goes in towards Bioshik. They want to focus Contract. He steals the Baron. CLG, just stop him in their tracks. Bioshik still tries to fight a little bit longer. Contract wants to get away. Aftershock keeps him protected. He shouldn't die to this. Yosha keeps going in, but Luger's ready to go right back at him. Core JJ drop. Luger's finding more. Contract in the front line with a stasis to buy time. And CLG and Luger make pin cushions out of him. Oh my god, CLG three members. There's a hex splash. Misses oh, no. the play though. As Delight still going to be able to get a lot of damage, but the Zonyas is going to keep Faker alive for so long. Turret falls on the top side as Faker. He stays alive. Peanut also going to be able to stay up as well and walks out, limps out after that one. Carrier going to get zapped. Wait. So much damage. It's a corridor and an equalizer. Fantastic for this one. But Kumiyoshi is so strong. And Doran does nothing. It's a double oh, kill, no. a triple, a quadra for Kumiyoshi. Doesn't quite finish off the Penta, but Guma was so strong in that fight. And now the TP from Zayas, they want to end it here. Gen G thought they saw a moment of weakness <laughs> and they were right, but it wasn't T1 that was weak. Oh, it was not enough at all. Oh, no! She's going to die to a turret and Chovy is going to sit on mean? the base. There are minions that are winning the game in the Wait, meantime. But it can't end. As, yeah, uh, well, I mean, the minions might be able to, but Zayas definitely isn't as Chovy once again going to try and go for the drive-by. The zombie mode might be able to be what gets some work done to these turrets. As Jovi says, no, I would like to last hit it. Not going to be able to do so. So the game continues. I want you to keep your eyes on to Chovy's items because as this is coming down, he buys a stopwatch mid fight on the fountain to stopwatch the damage, which keeps him alive, allows him to get the shield, allows him to get the heal, and literally saves the bloody game up. To multiple people, oh if I'm not mistaken. Let's goodness. take a look at it here because. Uh, with the rent being set up here, Kenya can't quite go or try and go for the steal. Really nice cancel there from owner on Kana. And then here, it's actually looking winnable, right? Look at this. Oh, it actually a four is! Four-man knock-up from a Guma Yushi face call from Carrier after he secures the Ocean Soul with a rend as Cleanse away from that. Ebby going in. Move the spread as a stun onto Kazi once again, but he's got the Mikhails. This time, Elio dives on the back line. Can't kill off Jack Spectra. Kazi's still alive, and Niski now. Back to party, back to fight. The ammo hits, and the API will do a ton of damage. Just a triple. He's looking for the Quadra. He kills. Up. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's too interrupted. This one, Chief. Yeah, Q interrupted, flashes over, immediately chased down, and Betty should find the kill here. Taken by Sword Art and answered as Jackie Love gets one onto Shao Betty flashed over the wall to be here one and will second. be taken down. Double kill for Jackie Love, who's staying a little bit longer than he oh. should. The flash, the heal comes on through. Jackie Love's still alive for the time being. The damage comes out, and Jackie with a triple. The reaction time on Jackie Love to flash that distortion combo from Harder was sick. And he secures himself a triple kill off the back of it. Taking actually makes the cannon minions. They become very difficult to actually wave clear out. It allows oh, you to harass your opponent, but Guma. Could be in a bit run. of trouble here as Chris looks for it. The immediate cleanse does get out of the way. Nature's Cross isn't going to connect, but there is a twisted advance. Hostile takeover across everyone, though, but the Shy is just gigantic. Guma trying to hop away. The face call, the knock ups. And meanwhile, Wei Wei is going down. Faker collects it before falling down. to shreds. Wavo lying on the floor now as T1 looked to tidy up Crisp. And they won that team fight even better than the loss. Guma refuses to go down. Carry a safe. And here is the replay. We'll see how it all started. It looked like a pick on Nagumi Yushi. It did, but it just took them so long to actually get to him. You can see everyone from T1 is coming as fast as they possibly can. And all the time that was bought here 
by Guma allows them to arrive, allows the hostile takeover here, hitting across multiple members. Light is forced to even flash out, just trying to avoid it, but Owner knocks him down. Guma dances out, using that ultimate with Carrier's help to peel him off. And we're seeing one of the big issues with the Senna is that if you're playing a front to back, Senna feels almost impossible to deal with. Particularly with Kench, it's really hard to take people down to get Torch. And people get knocked up and look at that damage and a bulldog. Jeez! That's in the back line. Dude is getting chunked as well. DRX trying to stay alive here in this game, and they might just be able to, unless Dudu has something to say about it, as he will take down Podak at the end of the day. Young J will just not die as they don't quite have the damage. So many low health bars though. That's Croco and Yehu trying to take out the shot but it's literally impossible! You cannot take the Kasante out of the game! As they will try now, they are so close. A couple more hits, but no, it will not happen! And Yehu just barely with the He's Yubi. dead! Not eligible! Peanut going full armor, Sunfire. Oh, here we go again. Faker is going to have to flash. And Zeus, he nearly dies! He's just trying to stand here. He's an Aatrox, and now you can't get away from this Camille, so Zeus is gonna go down. We got a tidal wave coming in. Faker desperate to keep them around to get something done. It pays, he has nowhere to go, what? so he just goes forward. He just takes them out, and T1 can't get away. They all get east. It's a I think KT have really prepped for JDG as... Ooh, yeah, good. good escape. Wait, this missing that here. And that's gonna work out. Missing is here, though. And we'll see where the BDD can get out of that. He holds forward, the dodges, gets out after the charm, and BDD's still alive. He's an actual ninja. It's happened. What a play from BDD styling on JDG. Life sticking around here, actually, looking for an opportunity onto Showmaker, who will push forward. There's the Everfrost. Let's see whether he can keep himself alive. He gets the Unbreakable Will, and uh, he's going to take a lot of killing. Kingslayer also doing so much work, but they're able to tank up so well. Still, oh, he's minions. got an... He's got a stopwatch, you so know, he's fine. Until JoJo's there. Yeah. Summit, Summit should die. Shaden just needs to start it, and Summit should die. Well, Summit's immediately just going all I mean, out. Revenge is brought oh, back revenge, underneath the turret. No, what dude. was he doing? And now Shaden's going down a bit. Yeah, I'm expecting oh, him to kill God. Summit. Summit's they don't even get him. Okay. They don't even get him. It's going to happen again. FF. Summit's charging up the <laughs> Intofo strike. Shaden's going to try to walk through the turret. Pioshik locks down the enemy jungler. Summit picks it up. Evil geniuses, what are you doing? Oh, um, my God. Summit just made fools out of them. I mean, that is a 3v1. One, that should be a guaranteed kill. Only way it can go bad is walking too far forward and getting pulled under a tower like that no in revenge. What? Yoshik with the hex flash over the wall. Blabber getting engaged, John, but he pops the Magnet Storm. He has the Aftershock. He's rail. He's very difficult to kill. Palafox going in for the solo kill attempt on Nimines. Flashes forward. The lower auto attack. Palafox kills him off before Fudge is able to reinforce. Timbers? He even uses the stopwatch. Timbers is still just standing there. Redemption coming out from contracts. Palafox goes to the skies and Fudge Cannot finish the job! Palafox stepping back up as the root caller flies out, and Palafox is reinforced with the shield. They're ready to try to finish the kill. Daisy throws him up, and Contracts smacks him down. Energy! Get two for nothing! Up with Summit, the person that he put the Knight's Vow on. Maybe he can look to get some damage. Oh, the center of the wall! Oh, but it's the teleport coming back in! They closed all around them, and there's nowhere else for Summit to go! Palafox sends him to the skies! A three-man counter to Summit! going to be able to get away. Blabber gets hooked by the feathers, and now there's a massive equalizer on the entirety of C1. Just trying to, C9 rather, trying to retreat out of this one. That's a huge play comes out from Curia, oh. and they turn this one around, and even the tower can't get into this one. As Curia will disable that, this might just be a clean ace going into the hands of T1, and that it is. Nobody will fall. Look at the equalizer positioning as it goes through this brush. It is just so clean, and no one on C9 can avoid this equalizer damage yeah. except Sven. He's only get over the wall. You can't flash out. You're on a fat wall, and now you're trapped between this this wall here and Carrius re-engage. He goes through with the magical journey, sets up the stun, disables the turret so they can further deep dive here, and you are just not gonna get out if you are Cloud9. You are just trapped between her for basing. You need to try to get this dragon. We'll see if they can make it happen. Locked up, Glacial Fisher goes wide, Dorian looking for the damage on Mickey. 
He dashes away once again. The spear dodge, but Doran is low. One more axe would be enough. The TP now coming in from Chovy. He's looking for the flank with the cosmic drivers. Peanut is locked up. Pays down towards the bottom side. Peanut shut out of the fight. Pays will dash away, but Chovy on the back line finds one already. He's looking for more as he dives onto Mickey. That's another. The counter TP, but Pays takes another. And Chovy and Pays just dance around on the edge of the abyss. They play with G2. Caps pops the stopwatch. Pays dashes out of vision. And the frozen tomb will be your idol. I see grave caps. Hans hesitant to commit the flash, but the second that he does, Peanut sees a window, messes up the Q flash there a little bit, ends up losing his life, but then Chovy has the ultimate full on life, and just look at how he does so much damage. Q oh. connects onto all four members of G2, dances back and forth, gets the reset on the ultimate, pays with the empowered minions as well, assisting him in the skirmish, but the damage isn't quite enough for him. You get to Jamada, you absolute genius! Can my lions escape though? Yank is on the chains, heartbreak, Black Black and your branches away from it, the charm just wide, but he is the only <laughs> Entirety of Mad Lions, that's two. He's looking for more, he's looking for more. Three he chases Chasey underneath the tower. It's three! Can he make it four? It's four! Make his way over. Oh, they're going for the dive, though. Black off. There's a feather storm from Tomo, should be able to play a call back. It's oh, like Turtle! Oh, 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 it's a Double kill! Wild Turtle! Keeper's verdict does come down. They're just going to try and burst it if they can. The equalizer is in and they secure the elder. Live Sandbox coming back in a big way in this one. It's closer. Finds another Emperor's Divide. It's a double kill before he goes down. Magnus Storm as Bible's trying to be a hero. And now Death, the last man standing. He has to try and get this one done. The health bars are so extraordinarily low. There's the Void Seeker Willa gonna be taken out. And now it's Teddy. Death versus Death. He finds the ulti. Teddy, he is going to use it, and he's going to oh, go Dev picks up the kill. It's a quadra. Unbelievable plays from Dev. That was actually one of the most insane things I have ever seen. There is just no way. There is no way he should have been able to do that. It's just not <laughs> It's not supposed to go like that. He presses E. He gets off, and off on top of Teddy, has the killer instinct for the shield. Look at Teddy's yeah. face. He knows he's been done, outplayed <laughs> by the defending world champion. He's pretty impressed. He's he is. Pretty impressed. He knows he's been outplayed, went. man. He knows it. Right now, Cuz wanting to try and find his way in, but look at this. All of D plus trying to get them out of the way, but Keith just gets that root prison down. Immediately they dive in, though. Cuz is already going to go down. That is a three man ulti for PDD. Where have we seen this before? As KT will wipe out D plus. <laughs> goes down. It's an ace in trade for just Cuz. But they will not give up this one. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it's happened again, Kobe! Look at them just pop Showmaker, and initially you're like, okay, well, they traded Cuz for it, but BDD sweeps in, cleans the entire rest of the team, and because they have two other... Hawk is available. It looks like Ching Tian is going to have himself a one versus three to deal with. He hasn't realized it just yet as he goes Hello. in onto Cube. Hextech Ultimatum will keep him in the play. Is the healing there? The ultimate! Oh! comes into play! Ching Tian! CS3! Absolutely done! The Darius 1v3 triple kill cycles through the passive. The ultimate and Ching Tian. Riptail going down is stolen again, and they're gonna go straight away. The hostile taker is decent. Shun has taken away the eclipse onto Bin. They're looking for an engage. Bin with the ultimate of the Aphelios means everybody is turned to dust. Gory will just about get himself to safety. Never mind, you guys got your number. You can see River is able to get the steal away, but the priority for Golden Guardians is getting this fight. They commit so much onto getting this initial kill onto Jun. Many ultimates committed. Vile, to, uh, sorry, the Malphite ultimate, the uh, Jinx ultimate, but this re-engage here, the on oh three-man taunt into knock-up. The Gnar connects onto all five people <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Elk had already killed two Thanks to the Infernum Ultimate at the start, and then Yagao comes into the cleanup. As we might have another return play here from Tarzan. and repeat, finding the lineup, finding the angle, instant damage coming through for so they can get the root as well. If they could find the mark, but nice counter punch coming in from Guma, using the ult to stop the play in its tracks. Gala continuing to step up. Desperate to get a little bit more here, but has to be careful. The mark now coming through. Bar is good damage. Guma wants to finish it, oh! and he gets it! Absolutely outplayed in the 1v1. Guma finds the kill. It's a 2v3. In terms of comeback potential here, but. 
Genji have not killed the Nexus yet. In fights like this, these types of skirmishes, Rapaze takes a ton of damage. Chobi has free ran on the side. Like, no one can lock him down. The Renekton Sun is already used, so Chobi's like, alright, I've got the first kill. I've got the Shroud going to the back line. There's another. And he's just able to, to have so much mobility here once the Renekton stun is on cooldown. You see it in fights like this where he just uses the Shroud. He has a fully stacked Dark Seal, by the way, on top of all of these items. He has Zonia's, doesn't need to use it in the initial part of this fight. I mean, just look at how clean this is. You hear the fans scream as Chobi just annihilates the team basically single-handedly. He's bottom of Jai's now. Caps forced to back away. I think he had a minion there. Just on that last oh. second. Now all of a sudden, Broken Blade may need to use that flash. Dashes for now. Gets stunned up by Al Yoya. It's gone. Oh, 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 and he does it once more. Oh. Comes the glacial prison and Summit's got to try to get away. The flash to try to escape, but the follow-up from Shaden means Summit is about to fall. Oh. But he escapes. Summit got away. He clears enough distance with an additional leap strike. Ching Tien. Get a nice little engage on the shy. He's going for the all in here. He's gone all out. A lot of damage on the shy. It's a 1v1. The execution. Oh. Is it there for the shy? He misses the spear. And the shy. Is he going to go to the solo bolo? He's got to get out of there. Oh! Get the execution. Might go for the 50 50, but it's absolutely psycho flashes over the arrow. Faker oh. goes in. It's incredibly clean. JDG with the counter punch. Can they get anything back? Ruler on touch on the backside. Dragon still standing. But Order will take that away too. My God. Been threatening in the mid lane though, and this is what BLG want long range, non committal. So, you saw BLG, they survived that cast of the Orn Ultimate. It's at its third rank, it'll be at low cooldown, but BLG, they can use that uh, that timing window nonetheless. Oh, they're just gonna pull him in, he can't ult if he's dead. That's oh! what BLG say, but they all die as well. Scout doing so much work as Gala jumps in to finish off that double kill for Gala as he looks for Bin as well. That's GA, but no reset to try and get onto On. He can just onto him though. The hex splash is too slow, but Bin turns him into shreds. Again, Tarzan can fish for the pick. They might be able to find it here. Can they get Faker down? The pushback is still there. Faker trying to slide, trying to glide out to safety. The root is there. The damage follow up is not, however, Caria, the flash in, the hand. Nonetheless, maybe Kanavi can steal again. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe they don't need control. Maybe they just need the horse to just wander away in there. As KT, four members here already set up. You can see BDD lurking in the sideline. 369 goes in, aiming, trying to escape from the crocodile. He'll get away, but Lance, he may not be so lucky. Knight in trouble as well, though, as he flashes away. BDD trying to get into the moonlight. Benjo flies forward, and Amy's gonna lock down the first kill. Rule is dead as well as BDD. Perfect execution! Both sides squaring up with the big old golem here. Flash in, whoa, back first blood! Owner living up to his name. Owner plays it out perfectly, gets the aggro back on a target. Get the blue? And he's oh. gonna get the blue as well. Zona throws down the ultimate Zayas. Going to do the same thing. Flashes forward to find the Ram Ruler. Still gonna be alive though. He has the wild growth available and now he's gonna start those shots. Zayas gonna be able to get himself out of there as the flash from missing is gonna get him to relative safety. As in goes Carrier, they knock up 369 Miasma. Gonna try to be avoided by Vega, but immediately he's polymorphed and he's taken down. The knockups come through Knight. He's going to be punished and now it's Kuma Yuki that rips them to shreds. It's a quadra kill and he gets denied by Owner on the Penta. Take a TP. Yeah, he can just come immediately towards this one and I that's don't think that's going to be much of an option. JDG, four of them are up and available. Reset. Super Death Rocket is going to be blocked. That's Kuma Yuki trying to get those autos oh, in. Baker. Can they keep it alive? Baker is going to turn up and there it is. Game. Comes in to take the kill under the tower and Eminence has got nowhere to run. Running under the tower for protection, but Shaden can take this one up as Unforgiven should be able to pick up the kill. Gets a ward into the brush, so they find eyes onto MS and get vision down. Shaden trying to slow him down with the Arctic Assault. Void Seeker there making EG really work for this one. A Void Seeker he's running the marathon. Get another available as well. MS flashing over the wall. No way! He's gonna get out! Arctic Assault over the wall. Can he find him in the brush? No! Unfortunately for the side of Vitality, that one ended with a tag that was first blood yep. for the side of BDS. So watch Adam here, sees the Vi coming in. As he's getting ulted, he decides to ult Photon, unstoppable. Dashes with the ult, uses the dash again, comes up to get over the wall. 
Shield doesn't really do much because there's no collapse. Bo thinks he can flash Q, but he doesn't think about the Blast Cone. And then Bo thinks he's safe here. He cancels a few autos here. He has two procs, but he doesn't actually take the auto. And then he wants to Q out, but Shio, insane reaction to just stop him. That's in slow motion. And then Photon can't help. BDS get the kill. They were going to tell us what they thought of that arrow, but all they had to say was, nice. So we didn't open their mics. Ooh, Odo, 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 with the Zeri, but it doesn't look like Gen.G want to give them an opportunity to take this down. They can't zone away Peanuts. Toby on the edge. Can't break that crown. That's massive. So close to it, but not quite enough. Zeka, TP, TP for the split push. Here we go. Trying to interrupt it. Gen.G are just sprinting for it. Zeka is just sailing on in. And the double TP should be enough. They stop the backs of Gen.G. They bait them into the team fight, and that is going to do it. Hamalai Esports will take down the Nexus. And Rather breaking down now as Dragon still aggroed here. Carrier playing on the edge. Ruler going through the portal. Feathers fly, but to little effect as JDG just have to run the pullback over the wall. Now they're just trying to isolate and take out Zeus. Big goal that... and flux for the side of JDG. Can they take the fall of fight? Already the equalizer burned. Carrier running through the magical journey. Everybody trying to get up, but Odor will be denied. Odor cannot find the escape, but it doesn't matter because T1 are there in time. Missing trying to fire back. Kumiyushi out of ammo, desperately trying to reload, but here comes the Kunai. Here comes Knight to flash away to safety. Three shots left in the barrel. Manages to lock him down. Play on the edge as he stepped Faker's into coming. bar. Faker on the flank. No shockwave. A lot of help. Has to play careful here. Knight, no ultimate. Needs to make his way out of this one. The lock up there from Guma from so far away. Oh, no. Owner coming in. The pullback on the missing. Trying not to stick around for too long. One taken down already. Knight now going in. Trying to turn it back. Guma says not today. Guma puts it right between his eyes as Knight goes for the kill. But has teleport available right now. Remember, managed to cancel the Shy's TP. There's a sapling gonna spot uh, the players as uh, ultimates popped in the bottom side, and LWX is here as well. But the Shy just jumps on top of him and turns him to pieces. The Shy is an absolute monster in the 2v1. You can see contracts hanging around the pit right now. They do have that Scuttlecraft vision secured to the side of CLG, but it's only going to last a few seconds longer. CLG grouping up, coming together. They're going to move for the Drake. Pioshik and the rest of Team Liquid ready to contest. Dokla arriving on the flank. CLG go in for the fight. The Drake is still at 6,000. It's no danger of being bursted down just yet. Boom goes in, finds a stun on two. Palafox ready for the follow-up here. Goes after Harry. Contract's very low, barely walks away from it. Palafox still wants to find the kill into Harry, but Dope was already killed off Yawn. Palafox drops. Team Liquid has taken down one for one, and CLG is backing away. The health bars are low, and Core JJ goes in to make it happen. Summit flies over the top, but Dope was ready to fight back. It's big Dope, baby! He picks up two, he picks up three, he absolutely smears Team Liquid all over the floor. Uh, Chaos Storm, he's gonna bask in it. As Grand Challenge going to be a shoot, Dudu going to look for the kill on the Karras, he's Doo -doo. gonna get it. Now he's looking for even more, he's, oh my god, into the dead turret, he does have. Oh my god, what is this? It's what? insane, he's a god, oh he gets my god. the double. And now Morgan is chasing after him. He will flash. He will get the crush. But it's another repost. And Dudu is still going. Oh my god, this player may have just saved the game for Kwandong Freaks. It's not over yet, as he's now channeling it back. I think he's got another repost, though, guys. I think he's got oh, another he's, one. He's, he's gone. I think he's fine. And they might get dragon because of that. Well, Umpty's over here, but Young Jay's spawned again. Our Mako goes forward as well. Uzi is waiting for the killer oh, instinct. No. He's just trying to wait for his angle. And now you get a pick up from JJ. It is EDG that have to back away. Wood XA trying to step up here as well. He's trying to get the damage down for him. He's got the caliber, but can't hit the distance. And EDG are backing away. Uzi is still looking for it. Can't get it. He's going in now. You've got to watch those Prey Seekers as one X in all by himself. will get hit down by Allah. And you, Cal, can he do it? Uzi! The flash away was huge. And Allah now wants to chase down you, Cal. And he gets him down. The game. And Mazel, it feels like that, that sinking stomach feel 
where oh, oh, potential. Oh, 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 DDZ. Oh. He goes for what? Oh, the shot. He gets the out. You don't bait too hard that you bait yourself. Yeah. <laughs> To make sure that Doklan knows his limits in this. But so far, this oh, is already the Oh, he's gonna be. Contract oh. is here. Do it. Hook line and sink. Oh, that's a prison on top of it. The orbital cannon. Luger doesn't even need that. The damage is just CLG out. A similar story for 369 on the bottom side. T1 just need to weather the storm. And the heal is good in lane, but once you get out. It is very tough not to have the cleanse. Dave's on the flank. Dave's on the side. TP coming in. Faker looking to make the flank oh! against Ruler. Odor goes in. And again, the combos are clean. The hostile takeover is damn well hostile. T1 looking to leave no survivors alive. He's excited that the entire team will get absolutely nothing. T1 what? in the clutch are too damn clean. Faker printed up. But JDG know they have priority access to the pit. Zayus waiting over the wall. Again, it is all eyes on Ruler. He has to be the difference maker here. A good shockwave. The Zeri follow-up could be enough for JDG to take the fight, but for now they're focused on the objective. Owner zoning them away. 2.5k is getting lower and lower. They will burn it down. They get what they came for. T1, do they want to stay for the fight? Knockup coming through. Owner caught up. Flag and Drag will take him out to safety. Kanavi burning on the back side. Owner still standing. With Ruler with the lightning crash now trying to go in, but goes gold and carry him by spin more space for the rest of the team. Arrows coming in from the bars. Ruler incredibly low, but maybe. Just maybe guy. he can turn it back, but Goomba's still standing tall. Oh. He can't walk in a rage. T1 starting to feel like an inevitability. Ruler Zeri. JDG in circles in these team fights. What? Taves flashing forward. Just trying to deny, just trying to zone them away. Blood in their eyes. They want everything. No. Taves can start this one, draw the attention of JDG. They're forced to respond. They can't afford to give up the soul. Guma clearing the midwave. T1 a bit split. Eyes on Ruler. Eyes on the shockwave of night. Kanavi stepping in. Flash to the side from Faker. Ooh. At the cost of very Kanavi. little. Owner walking more, but Faker now dominating. Kanavi! A massive mistake! Carrion now going in, the ruler's untouched! Goes golden and now Ruler! Looking to take over the fight, Ruler still standing, Goomba still standing, Goomba firing back! Ruler goes down! Goomba's just better! Seu's now stepping in, fate sealed. Or rather, Soul Unbound now taking it back. The Ocean Soul for T1, they get everything they want. Flank angle, the shine now here. And Gumiushi, pretty safe now on that back line. Look at Karia though, it's so hard for Weibo to walk up because Karia is on that sideline, they know he's there. Yeah, he flashes in, he finds himself, the charm on the four is there, is the ultimate from the Shy, but it just doesn't quite do enough. They try and get out, but Fika has the perfect execution and locks down his fellow ninja. Xiaohu now taking a whole lot of damage in Faker. He's in the shroud. He's toying with them. It's a double cost. What? Order! And back in again. It's a triple for Faker. Zayas is going to be out of block down the next one. Faker eventually goes down, but it's four for him and Carrier. And that is T1 turning the situation around. Their health bars are low. Not all of Weibo's cooldowns actually hit the world championship. It's T1, one dragon from Seoul. And Carrier gets spotted. He says, great, I'm going to engage. Both your soul leaders are stacked up. Carrier goes right in, knocks them both up. The bard ulti comes through there. I think it was meant to protect the Shy and Xiaohu, but it kind of backfired as it immuned the ulti coming through from the Shy. And from Xiaohu. That was two ultimates that just yeah. didn't find their mark. The anti-synergy really rough for Weibo here with their backs against the wall. They just don't find the angle, and that is Soul Point set up. A triple kill for Faker on Akali, a champion that, well, of course, we knew he could play, but we hadn't seen this year just yet. I tell you what, it's pretty poignant seeing him play Silas and Akali in this series, though, after what happened last year. Just showing it's heartbreaking as now they take a magical journey over Zayas. He likes this one, though. One versus three. He's absorbing so much. The Empress Divide. It comes in, but he's still alive. What? what is going on? Faker tidies up the first. Everyone's just exploding. As Weiwei trying to get something done, but it does not matter. T1 are too strong. Four times T1 has lost in a game five. Four times they've been knocked down, and four times they have got back up for this moment. It was seven years since their last, a decade since their first. The SKT legacy has been reignited. T1 will be your 2023 world champions.
It took them two to win a title again. Spring 2021, this roster came up. They stomped the LCK. They stomped the playoffs. And then at MSI, we started to see the cracks. And then last year at Worlds, it felt like they'd been able to recuperate from all that. But it wasn't the case. It took them one more year to take the lessons that they'd learned in 2022. These were 20 of the greatest outplays in 2023. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.